Right. I'm trying to walk with as much confidence, but that's not really happening, is it? <laughs> We've done all the, the power generation bit, but we haven't even looked at the cables that join them all together. So that's why we thought we'd come and have a closer look. Yeah, on average, 20 pounds of your yearly electricity bill goes towards the maintenance of the national grid. And here we are on it. But I'm d I did that without any hands. Like, if I fell from here, that's messy. The electricity industry was nationalised in 1948. Huge investment quickly doubled the size of the grid. A good gang can erect a pylon, average height 136 feet, and made up of about 400 pieces of metal in one day. The high voltage network that was installed in the 50s is still used to this day. Sure-footed as cat burglars, the men clamber about this steel network as though there were a safety net below, while most of us get giddy standing on a chair. It requires constant maintenance, and today Guy will join a service crew to see if he could make it in this dangerous world. The National Grid Training Centre in Nottinghamshire is one of the energy sector's most important locations. Every type of electrical infrastructure is here, so that engineers can be taught how to keep the country's lights on. The riskiest job is that of the linesmen. Get cracking. Thank you very much. Linesmen are the engineers who not only service the 400,000 volt network, but they have to do it on pylons measuring 45 meters. There are only 100 men and women qualified for this work. And so Guy finds himself doing one of the country's most exclusive jobs. 20 years you've been doing this? 20 years, it's still hard work. No one's died. No one's died. No one's grid. died ever. Not a national grid. So you see, no one get frazzled. Not in 22 years, never. 20, no one fall off. No one's falling off, no. Holy <laughs> some record in it. Yeah. And I'm just up here now, and I'm thinking. Yeah, to be fair, mate, you seem pretty comfortable. Do I? Yeah, yeah. You seem pretty relaxed. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah. Look at that. You just stood there. Just stood there. Like, look, this is nothing to you boys. Look, you just stood here. It's not bother. A bit at a time over a long period, you become accustomed to it. We are a fair way up, aren't we? Like I said, it's such high risk. I mean, you're working at high, you're working next well. Usually, that you have that side live. There's so many things that can go wrong. You've got to be absolutely on the ball with it all. Yeah. So, yeah, mate, come down when you're ready. Yeah? Right. Although the line being worked on is always electrically isolated, the rest of the wires remain live. All right, mate. Yeah, you're probably better off now if you want to just, just come round to the other side of the ladder. The biggest hazard is manoeuvring in mid-air while trusting that the right lines have been switched off. Right. So just with this, just be careful, like, it's going to be a little bit loose. Yeah. That's obviously a little bit loose, that's your safety. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Crack on. Power lines aren't insulated, saving weight, but they're still several tons and need a winch system to take the strain before any maintenance task. Up enough. That's good enough. Yeah, good enough. Yeah. Right, where do you want me to go right, down now, there? Then? Come back in this basket now. Yeah. Just right. be more careful. This this will be even looser now. Okay. Taking okay. the weight. Okay. Back on now. That's it. Now, well done. All right. Yeah. After an hour of climbing and preparation the maintenance work can finally start. Just be careful with these. When you take them out, yeah. they will fall. <laughs> a pylon's steel components last between 30 and 40 years, and today one of the load-bearing joints is being upgraded. I'll wind mine on, and at the same time, you're going to wind your on onto OK, OK, OK. So it's just nice and gentle. Doesn't take much. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then just watch, as it gets to the end, it's a bit of a, like, finger trapper, so just be careful with your fingers. Yeah. Just make sure it's on. Yep. Another, another rod. 
It's a job that is being gradually carried out on all 22,000 of Britain's high-voltage pylons. It spreads the load out on a further distance, so instead of having all the pressure on this amount, you've got the pressure on this amount. Do exactly the same, just wind it back on. Yeah, another one. Another one, mate. Hold it on, and then same again, we'll just wrap it on. He's a natural, mate. Look at that, that's a min job, isn't it? Min job. Bang on, mate, isn't it? Just the job, eh? And we're going to get this landing bolt. <clears throat> and that, that's one done. The job is complete, and Guy has found his calling. If I'd have known about this job at 17, I wouldn't be fixing trucks. <laughs> you know, I love them jobs where if you get it wrong, you are knackered. That's what I like, that's what, yeah. We don't know we're born, do we? Like 50% of the world has an unreliable power supply. <laughs> don't know if the fridge is going to be on. Go down the supermarket to charge the phone up. Not like here, right? Let me get the number right. 99.9998% reliable, right? And that's all down to the folks climbing these piles. Hey, you know what they're doing. The cost across all of the bill payers, 5p a day. To pay for all of this? Come ground. Is that me? Thank you very much. Good work. <laughs> that's, I think that's a bargain. The grid is growing at an unprecedented rate. Nearly 3,000 miles of new lines and cables are planned to support new wind farms. Old power stations are having to make way, as Guy is about to find out.